So this this is a massive moment actually. This is huge because it's the first time we're going on the track at Formula E. And uh, we're here, of course, for COP22, so the timing's amazing. Rex is going to sit as an AI passenger, as we call it, so he's going to be there only in the case that he needs to do a safety stop or anything like that, but the car will be totally in driverless mode, full autonomous, and um, it's going to be quite important for the rest of the weekend to see how the car behaves, how it performs, all the little small micro bits of data that they can receive and learn from. It's going to give us the best chance of having a really, really good run on Saturday. What did she say? He Very said it's cool. <laughs> I mean, tomorrow is a, is a massive day for us. You know, it's it's a public event. We're here at the Formula E race. It's a proper race track without any runoff areas at the side of the track, so there's hardly any margin for error. Uh, we've proved out we can do that today. But tomorrow is a massive day. You know, we want to demonstrate the car running in full AI mode, but without a driver in the cockpit. So, I mean, that has real impact. When you see that and you actually see a car coming down, see it without the driver inside it, it's a massive moment. Um, today, showtime for the big outing of our magnificent technological marvel. Well, we're, we're in front of everyone now, that's it guys. It's, it's actually, we're going on a track with all the Formula E teams watching, lots of people from government, lots of local people, uh, all the TV channels. It's completely different, but you just have to be confident, get out there and just sh to show to everyone what you can do. Yeah, that, that, that's a big deal because it's the first event, we're actually showing it in front of the crowd, in front of the whole world, but at the same time we're quite confident that it's going to make 12 driverless laps. I'm, I'm personally yeah, very, very excited. <laughs> So I feel good for the car. She's safe with the Michelin tires, so that's okay. <laughs>
us, it's a massive statement to be able to turn up here in a motorsport environment and demonstrate that. Yeah, that was successful without a driver inside the car. Um, and it was a complete success. You know, the guys have done an absolutely amazing job. And today we've gone out, we've completed an out lap, we did 10 flying laps and then an in lap. So I think it's, it is a milestone. We need to understand that the idea of the Robo Race came just in November last year. So, like, we, we announced Robo Race on 26th of November last year. Today is 12th of November. So it's less than one year. And I think it's a great achievement. I'm really very proud of it. Thank you.